Hey y'all, this is Joe with Unbars Magazine coming at you with another little experiment. Uh, there's some discussion recently on one of the Facebook groups about lighting, right? Uh, are shop lights good enough? Are um, grow lights better? So I do have a couple different setups here. Um, I'm gonna test just for this go around T5s versus T5s. So I'm gonna show you guys here real quick. Uh, T5 grow lights. On this side, T5 shop lights. So this week I'm in the process of putting out my trays. Um, so over here, we'll have one row, uh, one shelf of spicy mix, one shelf of broccoli when I get it put out, one shelf of salad mix. And on this side, i got my spicy mix again underneath the T5 shop lights. Got uh, a shelf of salad mix uh, underneath the shop lights. And then I'll put my broccoli down here. So, really just want to look at what is the main difference. Um, I, I do firmly believe that the grow lights do get better coloration, especially on any of those red-hued uh, microgreens. Things like um, uh, red acre cabbage, purple kohlrabi, um, things like that. So, it not really, doesn't really affect amaranth, you know. Um, they do just fine under the shop lights. Uh, Rambo radish does just fine. But it's those ones that are green with the purple and the red uh, tinges throughout. Um, and that's what we're looking at. One, color. Also, is there going to be a difference in yield and weight? So I'll take one tray of each of these uh, when it comes time for harvest for grocery stores next week and do a couple taste, or not taste test, trials, just to see that total yield. Does the uh, grow lights yield any more than the shop lights? All right, uh, that's what I got for you now. And we'll come back uh, at the end of the grow cycle two weeks from now, and we will uh, review which lights are doing better. All right, we're back with another quick look at the end of this grow out comparing uh, T5 shop lights to T5 grow lights. Just to show you guys some of the differences, uh, some of the things I wasn't quite expecting either. So we'll just take a quick look. Uh, starting up here with my spicy mix. So the first one I'm gonna show you is gonna be under the T5 grow light, uh, sorry, the T5 shop light, and then followed by the T5 grow light. And there, when you look at like height, they're exactly the same. Uh, maybe a smidge taller, not really. I need to get a ruler out to really find out. Um, but as I've said before, I think the difference is, is a little bit in the size of the cotyledons. And more importantly, when you look at the, the coloration on those red veined um, sort of uh, microgreens, so your purple kohlrabi, your red acre cabbage, stuff like that. This is under the shop light. Um, you can kind of see some of the the red hues on that. Then you come over here, you look at the red hues, and they just appear to be darker, you know, really dark on some of these. Um, the one thing I'm not sure what happened here is some of my stuff started yellowing on the shop lights too. Uh, it is known that when you have higher uh, light densities, they do, do suck up more stuff. Um, so maybe I wasn't feeding these enough. Maybe I need to feed these twice rather than once a week. But hopefully you can see some of the difference. Shop light, grow light. I mean, some of these purples are just crazy. Um, I need to do a full grow out just on purple kohlrabi. Um, I'll probably do that as a part two to this video just to show you guys the differences. Looking at the broccoli, I do see height difference on the broccoli. Left, shop light, right, grow light. Um, and then I'll also do a picture of the harvest, uh, look at the coloration, because I do find typically the broccoli gets more purple on the stem under the grow lights. And then, last but not least, this is the salad mix, which is the basis for my spicy. Uh, again, height, about the same, um, but uh, same sort of thing as the spicy mix. When you look at it, the red coloration, just seems to come out more now I'm over in the grow light um, in these ones growing under the grow light rather than trying to see if I can find some of the ones under the shop light. So to me, that's the main difference. If you're looking for that more gourmet product um, that really screams on the color, the grow light tends to get that a little bit better. All right, time to harvest. All right, first up on our cutting block, we got our spicy coming in. Um, let me get to the right unit of measurement. So yeah, I harvest just with a 
a six inch vegetable knife and today we're harvesting into just this container typically when I'm doing harvest for grocery stores I'm harvesting direct into their um, end home which is the choice 16 ounce shallow packages that I got but We'll also take a look at the color and the stems here too before we're done. The total weight coming off this tray, this looks like it's gonna be right around seven and a half ounces or so. Seven ounces. Um, yeah, so there's the under the grow light. Go on to there's some cutting room, cutting floor extras. All right, and then on to the shop light. So, same sort of thing. There is color in the stems, but again, here's the shop light, or the grow light, versus the shop light. Shop light on the left, grow light, shop light, grow light. I just think it gets a lot better color. Um, yes, there's still color under the shop light. It just seems to come through stronger under the grow light. Always remember to pick out your dirt. No one wants to chew into some dirt. And it's looking like our harvest weight is the same. So I've said this a couple times on the different Facebook groups. Yeah, you know, quarter ounce difference. Um, I could probably do some more cleaning up and push this a little bit more, get it even closer. But for the most part, they are identical. Um, yeah, so when you look at these side by side, again, to me, it comes down to the color. Uh, that just on the spicy mix alone, that the color seems to come out darker on the uh, grow light. And that's specifically to the ones with the red veination on them. So your uh, purple kohlrabis, your red acre cabbage, stuff like that. Grow light, shop light. Both of them right at seven ounces. All right, and broccoli, grow light versus shop light. Uh, first up is going to be the broccoli under the grow light. So this one did get a little bit higher. And sometimes we'll see if it's going to hold true today. Just for the purposes of a video, it's probably not. Uh, I do see more purple coloration. I don't know if you can see that. And also dirt. Um, higher purple coloration, con purple content on the stems. Uh, both of these are from the same seed lot from Mums. I uh, love their product. One of the, in my opinion, better seed suppliers out there for microgreens. I think I'm realizing I neglected to tear my scale. But we'll see here in just a moment. All right, right at eight ounces on broccoli for the grow light. And as we harvest the shop light version, we'll take a look and see if that held true on the color. Eh, it's probably about the same. You know, coloration can come from lots of things. Light's only one of them. Um, a lot of varieties when they're under stress will also show color. So, could be that a tray did or did not get um, the correct amount of water. Right at eight ounces. 
I have a theory here. I bet because I had this the trays the same, so I could uh, identify them later. I wonder if I brought them over if they got backwards, uh, because we did have a little bit taller uh, green broccoli. But you know what? Hey, I'm a farmer. I'm not a scientist. I'm not a videographer. I'm fallible. All right. So the one that I had is under the grow light. You can see here some of the very faint, sorry, faint purple hue on the stem, eight ounces. Um, I think that I, that I had marked as the shop light, but I think I might have swapped them up on accident when performing the experiments. Um, yeah, we will see. And last but never least, our salad mix. So first up is going to be the grow light. And again, just because I'm like looking at it, just the color is super bright under the grow light. So all these have been grown for uh, 12 days. I sow typically on Mondays, harvest on Saturday at farmer's market, Friday for grocery stores, and uh, the following Tuesday, so actually at 15 days for my restaurants. Um, just helps streamline my whole process without having lots and lots of planting days. And I find that between day 11 and day 15, um, they don't lose their quality so much that I can't use them. There's a tray of salad mix under the grow light. And that was coming in at 6.9 pounds. So again, you know, we got some cuttings that fell off around uh, my container. So uh, this is what I've said a couple times is like, yeah, the harvest weight doesn't seem to make a difference. Um, that tends to be based off of the amount of light they're getting. Not so much um, the quality of light they're getting. Um, I do think the quality of light does have an effect on the quality of the greens as far as when it comes to that coloration. And 7.1 ounces under the shop light. So yeah, you know, quarter ounce, two tenths of an ounce difference. Really not that big of a deal um, when it comes to the grand scheme of things. Um, but it's really about the color. So I'll get the scale out of the way here real quick. Let me grab a paper towel and see if we can really tease this apart to show you. So on the left, we're going to have the grow or the shop light. On the right, we'll have the grow light. Let me try to get equal pinches so it's a fair comparison. 